Now, let's address your upper body. As we did with the hips, now we're gonna move just your upper body, not your hips. So, we're gonna go forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, without doing forward, back, forward, back. Make sure you leave your hips alone and just the body forward and then pull it back. Forward, pull it back, forward, pull it back. Let's do it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can see, as I'm pushing my body forward, my, elbow go, my elbows go back. As I'm pushing my body back, my elbows come forward. Forward and back and forward and back. Now, what I would like you to be very aware, this was just the movement, forward and back. You can move your body forward and back in a diagonal direction as well. So instead of square forward, you can move forward, but with more of a left awareness, back, right awareness, back, left awareness, back, right awareness. So if I go forward, back, left, back, right, back, forward, back, left, back, right, back, forward, back. Could you see there is a difference between going diagonally or forward? And when you dance, you have to be very much aware where are we asking you to put your weight? Is it to your right? Is it to your left? Or is it forward? Or do we ask you to keep everything slightly more back? Now, diagonally forward, it's different than if we ask you to move your body le right or left. Could you see how now the movement is very flat? You're just moving your ribcage to your right or to your left. Again, leaving your hips completely uninvolved at the moment. So we could have a movement to the right, diagonally forward to the right, forward, diagonally forward to the left, and left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, back. Diagonally, back, forward, back. Diagonally forward, back, left, back. Right, back, forward, diagonally forward, back, forward, back. Diagonally forward, back, left, back. If I can show you this from the side. Side, side, side. The body is completely flat. There is no stretch forward, neither stretch back. Now when you're going diagonally forward, your right side is dominant or your left side is dominant. Then you're going to pull it back. When you're going forward, both left and right are moving forward at the same time. Then pull it back. Forward, diagonally left, diagonally for, uh, right, right, left. Now, you can hit the same with, as we did with the hips. You don't have to have a punching activity. You can actually roll your body through all of these points in a much smoother movement. And you can roll it starting from the left side, diagonally, left, forward, forward, diagonally, forward, right, right, and back. So the circle goes left, to, from the left to the right, from the left to the right, or the other way around. Right, diagonally, forward, right, center forward, diagonally forward, left, left, and roll through all, si actually five points. Yeah, so we are rolling it to the left, and we are rolling it to your right. Rolling it to your left, rolling it to your right. Again, having your hips somewhat uninvolved. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 